Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to program a very basic web browser using the VB2005 programming language and the web browser control. So let's create a new project and name the project just a browser project. Okay. So I have my form here. I will need to add to it the controls I will be using. So I will add the control. Uh, the first one is the full strip. Then the menu strip. Then the status strip. And also the web browser control so the web browser control is a uh, docked um, in the parent container uh, in the menu uh, strip I will add the standard items so I because I want to uh, work with the, with these anyway and here I will add a button the second one a text box and a button in the status bar I will add a label then a progress bar so far that looks good so let's change the save the project and change the properties of the uh, button and the text box so properties I will change this to back and change the display uh, style to text for this one too text and it's forward this one again is just go and it's display style is text the text box I will change its width to 200 pixel and uh, it has disappeared because the form is uh, too short so here I will change the uh, property of autocomplete mode of the text to uh, suggest and append and uh, the source of the uh, complete mode is the all URL uh, I went uh, to from this computer so save this and go to the code so in the form load event I will uh, navigate using the browser control to navigate to a URL which will uh, just be URI and the new URI is just uh, Google let's say www.google.com so I save that and uh, let's now uh, program the back button because it's very simple it's just web browser one dot go back other one is forward maybe that web browser dot go forward and the last one is go maybe that web browser one dot navigate and I will navigate to a new URI and this new URI this time is we will take from the text box so it's me that um, what is it called tool uh, let me look for it uh, there you go tool strip text box that one dot text Oh, okay that looks good so far and now we will uh, program the web browser one uh, event the first one is when the document is completed loading so it's document sorry I need first to select here the web browser one and document completed 
and here I will change the property of the uh, tool uh, strip but this time it's a tool strip uh, status by the text I will change it to um, done also I will make uh, the me dot tool strip not viable uh, but the progress bar uh, value 100 and me dot tool strip progress bar 1 dot visible false okay. so I copy this because I want uh, I will need to make this uh, same uh, uh, property uh, true somewhere so web browser one again and this time we will program the uh, progress uh, the navigating event now so here I will make this true and also I will change the me that to strip the label the status label uh, text I will make it loading and another event of the web browser control is uh, progress uh, change in this event we will get, we will calculate the the value of the uh, tool uh, script uh, st progress uh, uh, bar so me that tool strip progress bar one that value this time we need to calculate it using the this object here uh, which is the system windows forms we bra uh, forms where b web browser uh, progress changed event arguments so basically it uh, holds the arguments of the uh, progressing of the web browser so it's e that max uh, progress sorry current progress first divided by e that max uh, progress and this multiplied by one hand And this multiplied by 100. I need that. Okay. So far, so good. Now I think it's time to test this. So let's go and test. So now it's uh, loading, and we see the library has the. Uh, the text and now it's done because the, the loading has completed. Ah, I forget here to put the URL which basically is just this uh, copy let's test again now, now it's loading see now it's done so let's go to another uh, URL this time Yahoo go. and you have seen the autocomplete mode so Yahoo is loading and the progress bar is working fine and it has completed uh, loading the uh, web page so back the button is working forward is working so the application works fine okay thank you